<laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> We're having a giggle fest because we've had a sad fest this morning. So, oh, goodness gracious. What is it with my hair in this thing? Every time I go down, I got to look at my hair. Oh. So apparently there's this new thing where I can have like introductions and all this kind of stuff on there, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. So you just get boring on me. Trying to figure this out. Hey, Catherine. Sorry, it's all jiggly. I'm just trying to get in as close as I can. There, that's better. Oh, thank you, Catherine. I don't know. I want to grow up my hair, but I don't know what to do like this part. I never know what to do with it, right? I put it behind my ears and then I look like a boy. <laughs> hey, Carla. How you doing? Everybody down in the States, I guess, is getting ready for Thanksgiving, right? You guys have like the a four-day holiday, basically, when it's Thanksgiving. You got your Black Friday and <laughs> the whole thing. Oh, I didn't clean my glasses, so once again, I can't see anything. Hey, Tammy. Thanks for joining me today. So I guess some of you saw my rather sad post. Was, uh, uh, that was a hard way to start the day. That was a really, really tough way. In case you didn't read that, one of our, one of our customers chose to um, take his life last week. And his parents or his family came in yesterday and wanted to surround themselves with something that made them happy because it, they knew it made them happy, him happy, I guess is the best way to put it. And they wanted to buy some beads um, to like help them heal or something like that. I hope that's not too much sharing from them. I hope it's not, but anyway, I wasn't here and I wish that I had been because um, he was one of my favorite customers. He was just a lovely, lovely young man. He had, a, he had beautiful eyes um, and you could, you could see his life in his eyes. Like he just, he, he just, the beads resonated with him and they made him happy. And um, to hear that he, you could tell that he was a bit like of a tortured soul though too though. So to hear that he chose to take his life just, it totally gutted me this morning. Uh, I, I, Marcy was actually kind of surprised at my reaction because I cried, like I really cried. And then I was like, oh man, this is hard. This is very hard. So I, um, I hope he rests peacefully my heart's with his family I'd be careful I don't want to start crying again but um, yeah that was a tough way tough way to start the morning and then we had a customer come in who was going through an emotional day and she was crying <laughs> I was like oh my goodness it's been one of those days but um, I don't even remember what else just happened but we all started laughing so I was like okay this is oh I know what happened so this is a local story but we had a lady here uh, locally who was a dog walker and she went missing for 48 hours excuse me while I rub my nose and she had three people's dogs and um, she'd been missing and of course you know when it's freezing cold and pouring rain and just nasty everybody was so worried and they just announced that she was found and we were all cheering here because well you know you just want a good outcome for something like that so it's been a, it's been a day of emotions at Kelly's Bead Boutique all kinds of you know sad and now some happy things happening so I was really happy that she was found and that the husband and family can get back to normal and the people all got their dogs back they were all alive so that was awesome so um, yeah anyway okay so we're just gonna do something real easy today because that's all I got in me I don't have a lot of uh, creative juices flowing because it's just been uh, they've been expended by um, emotion today <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway so we're gonna um, perfect sorry I got a little tear there um, I probably make up everywhere too from crying so hard this morning um, we're going to perfect our um, barrel knots today. I had a customer ask if I could sort of zoom in on the barrel knots. So I'm going to try to see if I can, um, I'll be doing lots of them so you'll get to see them over and over again which is good um, and I'll try to make sure that I sort of zoom in, I'll hold my hands up and I'll make sure that you guys can really see and you have to sort of tell me um, yeah I can see that, no I can't, So because I want you guys to really understand how to make these. Um, I've got everything, look at me go, I've got everything actually on the website. These are gorgeous, um, they're large, they're like a 11 to 12 millimeter freshwater pearl and they're large hole pearls so that you can put the leather through which is really really nice. And uh, so this only calls for the pearls and some leather and I cut about four meters because I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Um, and then I've got one of TR Cast's gorgeous buttons from their, um, not the last uh, release but the one before I can never remember the, remember the name of this one but I love that one 
And then we're using one of the little um, tubes to do the barrel knots because I find them just a little bit easier. So thanks, Vicki. Hey, Ginger. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Yeah. All right, so let's see if I can get y'all down there. So let me know. I think I can see the, um, the comments. I'm just trying to figure out how to get you nice and close. Let me see. I'm going to pull this out of the way. Go like that. Sorry, a little jiggle jiggle. And then I'll pull this over here. I think I can. Um, no, that's not going to work. Nope. <laughs> that was a good idea, Kelly, but it's not going to work. Okay. Let's pull this back then. I think I have more. Sorry, everybody. I'm trying to get the best view. Is that one okay? Or is that too low? Maybe there. Try to get a good view. Okay, that looks like it should be okay. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna cut apart the, the strand of pearls. Now, these are expensive. This is a long strand. Most um, large hole beads come in half strands because they are spendy, because it, it's so much more labor for them to make them. But, um, like all of our beads here, if you buy over $200 worth, you get them for $100, including these. So I just have to add that part into the cart. I just remembered that I forgot that. So if you go to buy these in the next 20 minutes, don't. <laughs> Wait, because <laughs> I've got to go and do one more thing. i got to add one more part there. So I loaded them up on the website, and then I forgot that part. So, so I don't know how many I'm going to use. We'll just... I think I've got enough there. there. I think there's 57 on the strand, so. Okay, so I have four meters of 1.5 millimeter leather. You could use two millimeter if you wanted uh, because these have got nice big juicy holes in them. You see how big that hole is? Um, but I thought I would just go with the 1.5. Hey, Cindy, how you doing today? Okay, so with barrel knots, what you wanna do is have one side longer than the other because um, we're going to use that one for the wrapping. So I'm going to put my um, button on and I'm going to run it down to the middle so I can kind of figure out where I'm going and then I'll drop it back a bit. I want to make sure that this can go around my neck at least. Yeah, it's kind of a, like, you know, not an exact science. So I'll get some measurements after I'm done. But so, oh, did I need to put that on? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, just trying to measure this, make sure I've got lots. So what I've got here is a big long piece on one side and then one, so I've basically got about a meter and a bit on one side and then two and a half meters on the other or something like that because it's the longer side that we're always going to be um, wrapping with. Okay, so let's hope that you can see my fingers and show you what to do here for the barrel, barrel knots. Okay, yeah, me too, Mary, I love them. Love, love, love pearls. Okay, so my longer piece is on the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it underneath my little tube and underneath that little piece of leather. And then I'm gonna work towards, this is actually my left hand even though it looks backwards on here. So I'm gonna work towards my left hand. So I'm gonna go around once and then you see how I kind of grab it here? I know it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can turn that way. Does that help a bit? Maybe that'll be better. I can't do it all like this because that'll break my back. But So what I do is I grab it with my little finger there so that I can then pull this around. So I'm going once and I keep working towards my left. So it's a little, it's counterintuitive because you feel like you're going the wrong way. So that's once, twice, three times. And you see I always use that finger to give it some anchor because you don't want that to be loose. Now I'm going to go and put my fingers around all three of those and then I grab this end. So this is my long end. It's going to take a few minutes to get it out of there. And then I'm going to go in the back side of the um, little tube. And I use the tubes because it makes it just makes it easier. So now you can see that that's coming out the end. Okay, so I've got my three wraps. It's coming out the end. So I'm going to pull it through. And then, then you pull your little tube off. So it's lots of, lots of pull in here because I've got so much leather at this point. It'll be easier when it go, 
goes a little further along. Now my um, knot is a little loose there, so what I do is I push it down with um, my thumbs to the or my thumb to the place I want it, and then I'm going to pull on the opposite one there, and then you pull it tight. And I but I don't want to pull it too tight because leather can snap. Okay, so there we have our first little knot. So I think I'm actually going to increase the knots. That's fine on there, but I think I'm going to increase them and maybe do four wraps. So, hey Kelly. Kelly is um, now the new sales rep for, I guess for me now, right? Kelly for uh, Beatalon. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Okay, so um, yeah, so that, I, that's one done with three, but it doesn't look like three. It actually only looks up like about two right now. So then what I'm going to do, now you, the hardest part of this is trying to keep straight which one is your long one and which one is your short one. So for me, what I do is I always keep my long one on top so that um, I'm always wrapping with the top one. So on this one, I'm going to put two beads on, two of my large whole freshwater pearls, these juicy big suckers that I've got here. And I'm going to find out where I want to put them, which is, I don't want it scrunched in there. I want to have a little bit of movement there. And then I'm going to put another one on the opposite side on my short piece. So now I'm going to have like a little cluster like that. So now I'm going to take my little tube and I'm going to place it in between my leather. And now coming from underneath, I grab my long piece and I wrap it around towards me. And I'm going to start working towards my left hand over here. So I'm going to go once, twice, three times, and I'm going to go four. Okay, so now I'm going to then take that long piece of leather. Oop, it's, it's very long, so, because it's going to be a necklace, so. Now I'm going to go through that tube, so you can see it's coming through the back end of the tube, and then I'll pull it through. Now some people make these without the tube, and I can do them, but you know what, I have more consistent knots when I use the tube, so that's why I use this. Some people don't like them. Um, for me, I just find that I can get a, consi a consistent look. Okay, so now I've got my little um, knot made, so I have to push it down where I want it, so I want to get that all centered in there. And then I'm going to tighten it up. And you'll be able to tell right away when you pull one, it's the wrong one, right? So if you pull one that doesn't work, then you just go over to the next one. And I kind of move them around so that they're nice and equal. So now we have a little cluster there, okay? All right, so now these will offset a little bit. Like you can see that one's gonna be a little lower than the others, but, that, but that's kind of what I'm going for. Because on the other side, what I'm gonna do now, so this is my short one. So I'm gonna turn it over so that my long one is on the top. That'll make your life a whole lot easier because you're only ever gonna wrap with your long one. It's when people start wrapping with the opposite side that gets you all mixed up, okay? So you've kind of got to remember that. So I'm going to put two on the long one here. Oops. Put that there. Hey, Chris. How you doing today? I see you're doing something with leather today, too. <laughs> Everybody's got their videos going on Wednesdays. Okay. So now we're going to have the second part of this. So I'm going to just, just get that kind of centered in there. And I'm going to place my little tube on there. And then I reach up like this and bring it around towards me. So I'm going under the tube and under this piece of leather here. And then up and over. And then you see how I grab it with that finger. So that's once, twice, three, four. I just wanted a little bit more of a knotted look there. With the, the three, it wasn't enough. So yeah, that one is kind of hidden. You won't really see it that much. And if anybody's counting knots, they're far too close to your jewelry. All right, so put that through the back side. Now, where you, most people usually go wrong with this is they put it, they come around and bring it through that end. And what that'll do is it'll, um, you'll see a piece of um, your leather going all on the outside. <clears throat> Excuse me, that should be a key that that's wrong and it's really easy to undo do these knots as long as you're careful with them they don't um, they don't damage your leather I just put a new 
class out and I actually had taken it apart like three times until I was happy and it was fine and it was using barrel knots. I love them. Okay, so I just kind of position that the way that I want it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Kind of move them around if you need to. There we go. So there's our next little section. Okay? And I'm going to continue that. I'm going to do two more sections and then I'll show you how I do the other side. So again, find out which one is my long one. So I'm going to flip that over. This is my long side. So now in this one, I'm going to put one of these nice big juicy pearls. Because I'm going to alternate each time. I think it'll give it a bit more of a balanced look. You know, and if it flips around when you're wearing it, whatever. You know, so if you end up with, you know, two on, of the same on one side, it doesn't really matter. It's a handmade piece. It's supposed to have some character to it. So, right? Oop, sorry about the bang. Okay, so... Hopefully, all right, so is this easy enough to see with the way that I was doing it? Because I did have one lady ask me to be a little, um, like to show it a little bit more clearly. So I want to make sure that I, oops, I lost count there, um, that I was doing that. So there's once, twice, three, four. And if you can't get a good look, then what I can do is turn the camera around and um, I can do a different view to see if that would help. I just can't read the comments when I do that. But, um, oop, I'm making lots of noise. Okay, so I pulled that right through. Let's see what happens. <laughs> My, um, we'll see if I can salvage that one. It kind of, it's getting heavy now, so it pulled right through. I think I can. Oh, look at that. Nice. That went right where I wanted it to. Sometimes you get lucky. Thanks, Catherine. So you can actually, can you sort of see what I was doing there? Like, is it easy enough to, if you had to make barrel knots, do you think by me, by watching today, you'd be able to see what I was doing? Okay, so this is my long one. So I'm gonna put two on there. And these are not perfect pearls. They're all different sort of shapes and you know, some of them have got little, little nubs on the end. <laughs> I kind of like that. Okay, awesome, good. I want to make sure that people can sort of see what I'm doing. So I'm going to do four of these. I don't want a lot um, of these on there. So I think that will be enough. I don't know. We'll see. I might do another section. Maybe I'll do five. I like to do even uneven numbers. Okay, so take my long strand, pull it around, work towards the back and towards my left hand. Three, and there's four. It does get tangled up a little bit. And I'll probably have way too much leather. I, like I said, I just grabbed four meters because I wasn't sure. Now, I always tell everybody, don't throw out your leather because you can do all kinds of things. You can make earrings, you can make little closures and clasps and all kinds of things with your little pieces of leather. So, you know, if you make a project and you find you've got a little chunk left over, uh, just hang on to it. Now, eventually, sometimes it will, you know, we've had leather sitting in a box that's gotten kind of brittle or something, so it doesn't always stay nice and supple, but, <coughs> pardon me. So I just kind of push and pull and get it where I want. So what this is going to do is it's going to sit in the front here. So I think I'm going to do one more. I think I've, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, I've got enough. That's right, because I've got 37. I had to make sure I had enough, enough beads. So I'll do five on that one side. So I'll put two up here. And this is my long one again. Again, I always have my, my um, long one at the top. That's kind of just my little hint of the day, tip of the day, I guess, because that way you'll know which one you're going to wrap around the other one, and then you won't, you know, go, what the heck am I doing here? I don't know which one I'm wrapping, because it can get a little, little confusing. So look how nice this is looking so far. Kind of a cool little, little um, pattern there. And you will see a little bit of the white dust from the inside of the pearls on your leather, but <clears throat> you can easily just wipe that away. 
that's just because you know they've been drilled through and my husband and I like to call those short straw jobs <laughs> I can't imagine doing all those but that's why they're so expensive because it's a lot of work I would love to go to a factory and see them do it one time I think it'd be kind of cool okay so you have to pull it down first get it into position and then you're going to tighten it up because once you tighten that you're not going to be able to move it unless you undo it so make sure you're pulling with the right piece of leather okay so I'm going to flip you up so you can see what I do the next part here yeah there's I've got quite a few different large hole pearls Catherine pearls can't even talk okay so I'm just gonna get this tightened up a little bit um, when I go to Tucson I I always buy a lot of them and then I make a bunch of projects and then they sell out very quickly okay so what's going to happen now is this is going to come around my neck and then my button is going to sit down here so I have to sort of gauge where I want to start the next one so I never wear anything I make. Should I make this for myself? Maybe I will. I never make anything for myself anymore. So I want to start my next ones about here. So that's about the length of my, my mat plus about an inch and a half. So just so that I keep track of that. Okay. So whatever sort of way that you can figure it out. So I gotta figure out which one's my long one again. So that is the long one there. So now I wanna take that measurement. So it's from about there to about here. So I'm gonna just hold my finger there. And it doesn't matter which one goes on here. Like if I do my double or my, I don't think, will it matter? No, because it's gonna be on the opposite side. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm going to put two on this one side so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> it's hard trying to do it one-handed, but I can. So, Catherine, have you started making anything with all your goodies you got? Oh, look at that. I'm such a ding-dong. Maybe it would help if I did a, um, if I did a knot here, right? What a ding a -ling. Okay, All right, so I got to do a knot here. <laughs> hey, Patricia, I am making a necklace using the um, barrel knots. So I just did one side. So you can watch it back from the beginning to see how I did it. But I've put my I um, put on my clasp, which is a button, and I made five little sections. And now I'm just going over to the other side to start the other side of the necklace. And I'm always going to be wrapping with my. Um, long side of my leather and I use this little tube and I'm going to pull from underneath and go around once twice three four times so I'm working towards my left hand even though I know that looks like my right hand in the video and then I'm going to take my leather and go through the back side of the little tube until it comes out the end and then I pull that through and then I pull the tube out. And now you can see I've got my little knot there. It's a little higgledy-piggledy until I pull it into position and get it nice and snug exactly where I want it. Hey, Catherine, do you know anybody in your area that's looking for a, a really lovely apartment they want to rent? My brother has a gorgeous apartment that just is finished in Kelowna. And um, he's wanting to rent it out. It's gorgeous, holy. So if you know anybody looking for a place, I can hook you up. It's got a water view or something, I think. I don't know. I don't know that area. Okay, so I've got my first knot there. <laughs> Catherine, I just read what you wrote. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad that I can supply you with that. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, if you know of anybody, drop me a note and I can give you the information. He just posted it um, yesterday. It's ready uh, December 1st, I believe. 
and um, it looks pretty spectacular. It's a two bedroom with a gorgeous big patio and lovely. Okay, so I've got my um, three beads on there. So two on the long side and one on the short side. And then I'm gonna take my tube and put it through there and wrap towards my left hand four times. There's three, there's four. Did I wrap with the right side? Hopefully I did. No, nope, see I wrapped with the wrong side. I'm going to undo that before I pull it. Because if you wrap with the wrong side, then what it does is it takes away quite a bit of your leather. So I just have to figure out which one's my, okay, that one's my right one. Okay, what did I do there? Okay, grab from underneath. This is where people get confused because I'm taking this top one and I'm pulling it underneath, underneath the tube and underneath the leather and working towards my left hand. So there's once, twice, three, and then four. So if you guys want a different camera view, let me know and I'll see if I can maybe get Marcy to even hold the camera behind me for one or two knots so that you can get like a, a view coming in from behind as though you were standing behind me. And that would be a really good view. I just, I can't do it myself, so. Yes, this is a really good necklace to learn a barrel knot on. And you don't just have to use pearls. You can use any large hole bead. You could use wood would be great. I'm not sure if wood would give it enough weight though. You know how sometimes you need a bit of weight on necklaces and I think this is one of those ones that will hang nicer if it has um, a bit of weight to it. Okay, so there's our first piece on our next side. So I'll figure out what my long one is. And so I just flip it over. Doesn't matter if you're flipping it over. I like pearls like this that are a little, um, I like to use the word gnarly. <laughs> They're not all perfect. All right, so then I'm gonna do my opposites, right? Two on one side over here, so then I go opposite over this side. And then I'm gonna do my barrel knot once, twice, three, four. Yes, that's what he's thinking around, uh, thinking Catherine is that the rental, it'll probably go quickly um, because there's not a lot there. And with this, I mean, it is, I, I was like, my jaw was hanging open. It is beautiful. It's a, brand new. Nobody's ever lived in it. Um, I can't remember the name of the building, but it's the one that, um, you know, the girl that was the bachelorette, Jillian Harris, her, um, um, but they're not married, right? They're her fiance, um, it was his project, his dad's and his. So he was working on it. And um, so it was on her show one time. But he didn't know that when he bought it. He just really liked that area and wanted to have an investment up there. So, all right, so I gotta do this three more times and then I'll be done on that part of it. So now I'm gonna do one on this side. So this is my long one. And I'm going to use one of these ones with a little nub on it because I think it's kind of fun to have something a little different looking there. Yeah, there's no rentals anywhere. Here it's really bad and they're so expensive. Holy. I don't know what it's like up there. If it's Is it really expensive up there, Catherine? <clears throat> For you girls in the U.S., Catherine lives up in the, in well, is it called the interior, I guess, there of um, B.C.? And um, she lives in a beautiful area, full of lakes and everything. And all of the retired people here are, re are um, people are selling their houses in the Vancouver area because they bought them for like you know eighty thousand, and now they're selling them for two or three million dollars. And then they're moving up there and retiring. So there's not a lot of homes or anything left up there. Um, it's been getting tough for people because so many people have relocated and have retired early. We, we've got friends that are doing that. Uh, we know lots of people that are going to do that. They're taking their money and running. But I don't know that there's much to run to anymore. So. so the key with these knots is just make sure you place it before you start tightening it. Otherwise it does get a little tough. 
yeah, prices are really, really high. Hey, Kathy, I see that you're watching too. Did you get your earrings yet? I hope they arrived. I think they're supposed to today. All right, which one's my long one? Okay, my, I'll sw switch it around. I'll do two on one side. And one on the other. You guys know how much I love barrel knots, right? <laughs> Hopefully it's not too boring watching them over and over and over again. But this way, if you don't know how to make them, this will be a really good way of doing it. So in case you're just jumping in here, I'll one more there. Grab it from underneath, work around towards the back and towards my left hand. And I'm gonna go four times. And then I'm gonna take that one that I'm working with and put it through the back side of that little tube. And I will put these tubes on um, the website too because we've had people ask for them. If you order anything to make this, I'll just include it in. So now you can see when I, when I take it off of there, it's like way down, way down there and I don't want it to be that far down. So I'm gonna pull it down to where I want it and then I take the right one and pull that tight. And again, I don't pull really hard. I just sort of, you know, pull a little bit and then get it placed. And then I use my fingernails a lot to sort of push it down so that it ends up where I want it to. Okay, so that is my, this is gonna be my last one here. So I've got my long one on top. So I'll do one up there. Oh, good. Oh, hopefully they do come today. Kathy, it'd be nice if you had them before the holidays. I love them. I thought they were so cute. I made a pair of earrings in a class the other day and posted them online, and Kathy um, wanted them, so I sent them off to her. I think I'll have to make some more because so many people really like them. Okay, here's my last knot, at least on this part. Okay, so around... Kathy used to own a bead store. And where was your bead store, Kathy? It was somewhere outside of Seattle, but I don't know which town it was in. I probably know, but I don't know. <laughs> was it in Sumner? So that's how I met Kathy, was through her owning a store. So it's always quite an honor when somebody that used to bead for you know, their entire lifetime wants to buy a piece of your jewelry. I thought that was really sweet. Okay, so now we've got our little section. So I'm gonna tip you up so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, it would look like berries. That would be a really good idea, Mary. Or who said that? Was it Mary? I don't know who said that, sorry. Um, Cindy. You had one in Kent and then your, what's the one that, when I met you, was that the one that was in Sumner? That was a cute store. Okay. So I've got two sides here. So what I'm gonna do is pop this behind my neck because this is how I'm going to wear it. So it's gonna come across like this. Isn't that cute? So what I'm gonna do now, I'll tip you down again so you can see. Hi, Auntie Karen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna use my, um, button here is a I need to measure so what I do is I pop it in between here to sort of see where I need my next knot to be so I need my next knot to be about this far away so again I'm gonna flip this over so I've got my long piece there it doesn't really matter at this point because I um, I'm almost done with exception of a little bit of embellishment so I'm just gonna pop this in between here bring it around to the front and work towards my left. And I have to make sure that I leave enough room for that to go in there. So I want it to be, I don't, with leather, you never want it to have a stress point. Like if, if you have to force that button through there, then what'll happen is your leather would eventually um, snap at that point. So if you don't have it big enough, then it falls off. So it's like, you know, that perfect little thing. So before I tighten it up, I am going to pop that in there and make sure that it's where I want it. And then I'll tighten it up. And you see what I'm doing? I'm putting my finger behind this knot here so that it doesn't go past 
that point there. And that's a, another good little tip on how to keep your leather where you want it. And so now I've got that little gap there. And when I do it up, just got to open that up a little bit there. So now it'll sit like that as a em little embellishment in the front. Yeah, that's awesome that you do that, Kathy. I do the same thing. I buy a lot of people's um, jewelry. Um, it's just what I've always done. I think it's very important to support everybody. Okay, so now I'm just going to do some little embellishments on here with my remaining beads. So I'm going to do some one, one part um, not so you don't have to have two pieces of leather so on this one I'll just move that out of the way and I think I'm gonna do a knot about here so I just place my tube on there and just wrap it around and on these I'm only gonna do three knots I don't want great big huge knots and you do the same thing you come in from behind and pull that through and pull your tube off and then you just kinda of move your knot where you want it so you can see you end up with another, just a small knot there. But thanks, Cindy. I think it's kind of groovy too. <laughs> I like coming up with stuff like this. This is, um, this is where I find my happy, when I'm just kind of playing with something and you end up with one of those nice little surprises. Okay, so I'm gonna just place my tube on the other side. So this gets a little harder when, you're, when you've got a, um, you know, bead in the way, so I don't worry about the bead. So I'm just gonna go once, twice, three times, because you can move these around. So I just pop that off of there, and now you can see that that's quite a ways down there, but I can, I can push it up. I just have to do it carefully. So you sort of have to, I gotta put this down though, because that's putting a little bit of weight on there. So it takes a little bit more effort to get this up now um, than the other way because with the two, two pieces, it's much easier to maneuver, but with one, it gets a little harder. So now you can see I've got that nice little leather embellishment. Thanks, Patricia. Okay, so I'll do another one about here. You know, it's like a real exact science here. <laughs> I just kind of fire more, I like them. And if you don't like it, you can always take it out. Now, one of the things with these, um, this is like that antique dyed leather. It will, sometimes you'll get a little bit of the color sort of, you know, you might see some um, color removal or whatever. Like you can see a little bit where I sort of am stressing it out there. So if that bothers you a lot, you've got to be really careful with it then. I don't worry about it. Because it's sort of got an antique look, I just kind of go with it. So... I'm going to try this one a little bit closer. So what I did was I put the um, thing right over top of the pearl just to see if that will get in a little bit closer because I don't want to stress my leather out. Let's see if that works. So did everybody hear the collective sigh around the world yesterday with hearing about the the passing of David Cassidy. Uh, there's a lot of us women that are of that certain age that grew up swooning over him. I was sort of like, aw. It's always sad when the ones we loved when we were young start to go. All right, I'm gonna do one on the other side here. I don't think I had posters in my room, but I still, um, I still liked him. You know, him and the Osmonds and <laughs> all that. My very first concert was um, at the Osmonds, the Pacific Coliseum in Vancouver when I was 13 years old. That was my birthday present. So I don't think people are quite ready for those ones to be going yet because they don't seem old enough, right? All right, I'm gonna put a couple more on and then we're gonna be done. So this takes a little bit of time, but look, it's, it's basically a toolless um, project. The only tools that you're going to need are your hands, your fingers, and um, you're going to need a pair of scissors at the end to trim off your leather. So do I want to do more than that?
Is that enough? I think I'm going to do a couple more. You know, a little longer is better, right? If I don't like it, then I can always trim it off. That's the nice thing about this. If I go, no, that's too long, I'll just trim it. All right. Let's pop this through there. Almost done. And I have no idea how I learned how to do a barrel knot. It was one of those things that I love doing knots. I kind of teach myself um, these things. Yes, Jean, you need to. They're always at 1230. But you can watch it back, right? So that's the good thing about it is that you can still still catch it. You can wait until I post it and then you can watch it back. We're just doing the barrel knots today. So one, two, three. I'm just going to do one more and then I'm done. All right. So yeah, that's helping putting the um, putting the little tube over top of the bead is actually helping a little bit because it's um, making it a little tighter in there. Okay, and I'll do one here and then I think we are done. And look at that. I have two beads left. I should use this really funky one with the nub on it, but... <laughs> Oops. <sighs> I think I've made too many barrel knots. You can see I, when I'm not sort of teaching, I can crank through them really fast because I don't have to think, right? I just do them. So this one I kind of want in the middle of that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure, you almost forgot too? Well, come on girls, get it together now. 12.30, every Wednesday, hopefully, you know, God willing. I can do them every Wednesday. Last night I was sitting there going, oh my gosh, I have nothing. I have no ideas today. And then when I came in and it was all the emotional upheaval in here this morning, I was like, oh Lord. And then somehow I just kind of whipped this out. Okay, so now I'm going to just trim this off. I'm being brave. I'll just trim there. And I think I'll trim there. So I just want to see how much leather I've actually got left. So I start off with four meters and I have about two feet left. So it actually uses a fair amount. Okay, so now, whoops, I have to undo it first before I try to put it on. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, it's, um, barrel knots are my favorite little thing. Easy peasy, but they're effective. Now this is quite a weighty necklace. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up so you can see. Whoops, I'm caught. All right, sorry, I've got a mic on here and a busy shirt and all this kind of hoopla. So the knot that I made over here goes over top of the button and then we've got, there we go. Look how cute that looks. Now if it was on a, maybe if I did this so you can see, I'll pull over my shirt. But look how cute that would be on a, if you had the right top on, this is not the right top. But what do you think? You like that? Yeah, it actually is a fairly quick and easy necklace, and I think I'm liking the weight of it. You know, I don't like anything heavy, but I actually like the weight on this. So um, the pearls make it nice and weighty, which is really good. So yeah, I think I'll have to wear this. Uh, yes, I do have more. Um, sorry, Sherry, I can't put away things, but we've got lots of them. I've got lots. So. Um, they're on the website or, you know, you can, I don't buy them yet though, because I haven't added them to one more category that I have to, but thank you everybody. I'm glad you like that. Sometimes things are created when I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. So I like that you, the only little bit of metal is this button. So this is the perfect project. I know a few people have said to me, well, what do I do for people that have um, metal allergies? You don't have to use a metal button here. I would still use a shank button. I think it um, sits a little better inside this little um, connection that I've done here. But you could definitely do, like we've got these really cute little wooden heart buttons. So you've got leather and your beads and a button. That's it. So, um, I think this one is a really good one for people that are trying to figure out what to make for someone that um, can't wear uh, metal jewelry. So there you go. Okay, well, thank you, everybody. Thanks for all the hearts and the love. This one is a good one.
Good. I'm glad you guys like it. So yeah, try it. They're not hard at all. Like you only need just, you know, a little little tube. It's 1.5 millimeter leather, and your big hole beads. They can be beads or pearls, whatever. Um, like I said, I probably we've got big hole um, wood, but I don't know if it's weighty enough. Um, yes, Julie, thank you. Yes, Sherry, you can order them online. Again, just give me a few minutes. I got to go in and add one more thing to the cart. Um, but you can order them online and you can do an in-store pickup if you want to make sure that you get a strand of them. Or um, you can buy a bunch of things and do that because remember, as I said before, and this goes for everybody, if you um, spend $200 on our uh, pearls and our wood and our semi-precious, then that gets cut down to a half. So you get them for 50% off. Once you've reached $200 in your cart, it automatically goes to 50% off. What a bargain, huh? So, uh, because these are a little spendy, they're $49.99, but if you get them at half price, that's 25 bucks for a gorgeous strand of freshwater pearls that have got big holes in them. That is really cheap because normally that's what we pay for the little half strands. So they're a really good deal. It just, that price sounds ouchy if you buy that without doing the, the discount, so. You want to make one of these for your uh, daughter-in-law, Cindy? That's awesome. Connie, these pearls are, I don't know, they're because they vary in size, but they start at about an 11 and they go up to a, maybe as high as about a 13 millimeter. So they sort of vary in between there. You know, like here's two um, that left over and they're different sizes. So they're completely different sizes. So they're, you know, somewhere between about uh, maybe 10 being the smallest one, but it's hard for me to tell. And maybe 13 being the largest. So... And I just have these ones in white. I think I might have some blue pearls, but I haven't got those on the website. You'd have to actually contact me by email or whatever, and I could snap a picture. But um, we used to have all kinds of colors, but of course, as soon as I get them in, people want them because um, they're gorgeous. And I'll buy tons more in February when I go on my shopping spree. I can't wait. I love that trip. So I'm really looking forward to the drive. I drive down for a week and take my time, and then I'm down there for, you know, usually seven, eight days. And then I drive back. It's kind of a good time for me to get in my head. And I just kind of think about what I want the store to do and all that kind of stuff. So it's fun. So there you go, everybody. That was a little bit longer today, but you know, it didn't take too long once we got going. So thanks again for um, joining me. I really appreciate it. Make sure to like this video and share it with people if you can. The more people that know about us, the um, easier it is for me to continue doing this. Um, I really appreciate all the support that I've gotten uh, with doing these. It's been a year and a half already. I can't believe it. Like, that's a lot of videos because <laughs> I've only missed a couple because, you know, I try really hard. Um, yes, you could use the last two for earrings for sure. So you don't ever have to, you know, have two left over and go, well, what am I going to do? You could make with your leftover leather. And your leftover pearl, you could do barrel knots and just do a simple barrel knot with one pearl hanging down, right? So there's yourself a, an easy pair of earrings. So thanks for that uh, little mention there, Jean. <laughs> That's good. Well, thank you, Carla. I really appreciate it. And Sherry. Okay, everybody. So again, thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next week. Same time, same place, same station. And for all my American friends, have a fabulous Thanksgiving. I hope that it, um, you have a great time with your family and eat lots of good food. And um, maybe take some time to do some things that make you happy, like beating. <laughs> okay, we'll see you again next week. Okay, take care. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>